So sometimes I do my gossip videos a little bit late because I want to see how things unravel and I want to digest that. And so I know that a few days ago it came out that Denise Richards wasn't getting child support anymore from Charlie Sheen. And intentionally I didn't like do a video right away on it, although I thought it was really interesting myself. I was like everyone, I was like, whoa, you know? But anyway, here's my breakdown of the Denise Richards, Charlie Sheen drama around the child support. I'm hopefully going to be able to include some stuff that the other ones that are out there don't have because there's been more that's played out uh, since it happened a few days ago. So Charlie Sheen has been paying $50,000 in child support for some time now for his two children with Denise Richards. That's a lot of child support, okay? That's a lot. And he's been generally good about paying it. We'll just say generally. Um, there's been court disputes on and off about this child support over the years. And well, so it wasn't too much of a surprise for me that Charlie Sheen was on, was ordered to pay zero dollars for child support to Denise Richards because recently we know that, you know, uh, Sammy Sheen had left Denise Richards' house because she was unhappy. I did a video about that. And so she, as an, you know, a young adult, was able to make her own decision, you know, of where she wanted her custody to reside. And she told, you know, she chose her dad. Now, Lola um, has a 50-50 custody split with Charlie Sheen and uh, Denise Richards. So in other words, when Lola can be with her mom, she is. And when her mom is unavailable, she goes with Charlie. But it would appear that Denise Richards is actually uh, doing some sort of a project. Maybe it's a film or a, I don't know, a TV show or something. But anyway, so she's away. So Lola's living with Charlie Full time. And to be clear, child support is not alimony. So none of this $50,000 a month was supposed to go to Denise. It's supposed to go to the kids. And Denise Richards already been remarried to Aaron Fipers. And so, you know, she shouldn't be getting alimony anyway because she has a new husband. And usually when you get a new husband, you no longer receive alimony. That's why a lot of women who uh, marry really wealthy guys and then they break up, they don't remarry again because they don't want to jeopardize the alimony from the wealthy guy. So just saying, obviously Aaron Fipers and Denise Richards are very in love. Um, the reason that that is, is the court sees it as like, okay, you have a new spouse, that new spouse is supposed to take care of you in your marriage and so it should, in a way, relinquish your previous spouse who you're no longer with from that responsibility, from that financial responsibility. Anyway, it sometimes takes a long time for these hearings to happen. And so sometimes people have to keep paying, even though technically it should have already stopped because it takes a long time for the order to be adjusted. And in uh, the courts, they say, sorry, Charlie, you have to wait, literally, sorry, Charlie, <laughs> that you have to wait until we adjust the order to actually change your behavior, even if you think that you should be doing it now. Now you can go into court, of course, and you can say, can you you know, order some money back to me because I shouldn't have been paying it. But they generally expect you to follow a court order until it's properly adjusted. And so, yeah, it's tough. So Charlie's been, I think, pretty frustrated with the court system and his interaction with um, Denise Richards for a long time. So um, he's been shopping in Malibu, doing grocery shopping and being a dad, uh, which is nice to see him in this role. I hope he stays stable and a good influence. Uh, Denise Richards said she was disappointed that the court ordered you know, her not to receive the child support. I don't know. So Denise Richards' legal camp said that she didn't know there was a hearing, which is why she didn't show up and got this judgment. Because usually if you don't show up to a court hearing, the judge will just automatically, you know, have the other person win because they find it a big disrespect for not showing up at a hearing. 
So Denise was like, I was working. I didn't know. Charlie has, you know, in the past six months pushed it out, you know, a bunch of hearings. So I just got, you know, confused. And that was that. Now, I'm not sure that would have made that much of a difference if she had appeared in court because, like I said, if she's not taking care of the two children, then you shouldn't be receiving child support. And as I mentioned, she's remarried, so she shouldn't really be getting alimony from Charlie Sheen anymore anyway. Now, Denise Richard made $1 million on her first season of The Bold and the Beautiful. That's the rumored amount she made. And then she was guaranteed another $4 million for the next four seasons. So... I mean, she knows she's going to be making a million a year. She would have only made like around 120000 her first season on Housewives, and it would just escalate slightly thereafter. So I can't imagine that that paycheck was really making a dent in her existence, which is probably why she quit the show when it started to mess with her brand. But... I mean, you know, the bold and the beautiful is paying serious salaries. So uh, I think she's okay. I mean, she has like a big house and, she, you know, she has like, I'm sure a lot of expenses, but I don't think like she's living so above her means at a million a year. I think she's okay. I do think she's going to miss the 50000 a month. Okay, I do. Um but, you know, that said, Charlie has to pay all the kids' expenses now 100% because he's not paying child support. Their school costs, everything. Now, Aaron Fibers, he's upset because he says Denise Richards is upset because she had done so much for Charlie Sheen over the years when he ran into trouble. I think she means like taking care of Brooke's kids when Brooke went to rehab and Charlie was unable to do so. And she's weathered a huge amount of bad publicity, which obviously probably hurt her career um, because of Charlie Sheen's antics. I think she's also pissed that Charlie Sheen's house is like a big party and she's kind of trying to have certain rules. Although I have heard her house is a bit chaotic in its own right. Um, so anyway, I mean, this is it. Now, Aaron Vipers was like, I feel so bad for Denise, but I'm like, I'm wondering how much money is Aaron Vipers bringing to this marriage? Because last I checked, he had like a new age clinic that wasn't really functioning anymore in Malibu. So I'm really confused about him. Like what's he, anyway, what's he I'm sure, you know, he spends time with Denise's adopted daughter who has some disabilities and he probably plays a really active part in her life, um, you know, while Denise especially is away. But I mean, you could probably still have a career at the same time, given the amount of money that Denise Richards makes. So we'll have to see how that all plays out. Um, yeah, I'd say Charlie Sheen feels like he's getting a little bit of... Um, redemption uh, that both daughters seem to want to stay with him over Denise Richards. Uh, I think he feels like that. I don't know. You know, is it earned? Is his house just like a free for all? And that's why the kids love it? Or I don't know. What could it be? Hmm. I do have one secret thought. I have no reason to believe this. Okay. This is just my secret thought, but I wonder if Aaron Fipers gets along with Lola and Sammy. Hmm. Oh, don't forget to subscribe. I always forget. I'm going to be doing a live after part one of Real Housewives of Beverly Hills if you guys are around and you want to watch it.